All right, I've been wanting to make a video on this game because I'm not too sure if many people know about it or know what it's really about. But if you like My Hero Academia, you're probably interested in this game wondering like, oh, they got a gotcha game. Is it any good? Or is it shit? Is it complete garbage? Doo-doo? Dookie? Dog water? Whatever you want to call it. It's kind of complicated right now. Um, so let's actually talk about the issues, the good sides, what I hope the game does, and if you should get it or not. So let's talk about what the game is actually like first to play. It is a very different game. I'm going to be comparing it to Dokkan and Legends a lot because I know a lot of us play that game. Most of the people on the channel know that. And that's the whole premise of my channel, basically. So that's really the best comparison I got so everyone can understand what I'm trying to say. But let's talk about those games for a bit. So that summon system, like Legends, for example, 1,000 crystals, you spend that on a multi-summon, and on that multi-summon, you get 10 characters. Um, usually, you get shafted, you get a bunch of heroes and extremes, but sometimes you get sparkings, sometimes you get some good stuff, or Dokkan, you spend 50, you get a guaranteed SSR, sometimes you get better stuff. This one's weird because you don't actually get the characters from every summon. It's based on shards, and I know that sounds weird because it is weird, so you'll see right here. You can get characters. It's just a very low rate for actually getting them. And I'll go into this later, this pity system right here. But this game is based on shards. So let's go over here for a good example. You see Todoroki right here. I don't have him. And you see that little number it says 12 out of 90. I have 12 shards of him and I need 90 shards if I want to actually have the character or I have to pull him somehow on the banner, which you get a, you get a better chance of actually just building up the shards most of the time. Although, you do have these stages that let you farm the shards, and uh, you can see I already did them. You get three attempts daily, two before you upgrade them, but I upgraded it and it's three. That doesn't cost money, that's just like in-game currency kind of thing. But you get those shards, and that's how you level up the characters. That basically acts as dupes, and that's the way you get people from going from this rank, which is the lowest rank's B, and I don't have any B characters actually. It goes up to A, S, SS, and then it goes all the way up to SSS plus, which is really tough to get. And it requires a lot the always I, there's always one moment where I, I screw up my the stuff I'm saying. Anyways, SSS plus is the highest one you can get, and it requires a lot of shards to get, which kinda is one of the issues that I'll get into later. So the summon system is very different, the way you get characters is very different, although there are a lot of opportunities to get the characters because you get a bunch of free um, cards to summon with you could buy the card so this coin currency right here um, 2500 of it gets you 10 summons which is a multi summon and it's not a different rate from a single summon your single summons add up and that's what the pity system is so for example if I do eight single summons th this says eight right here because I've done some single summons because I got free cards if I do eight summons that's eight out of ten I do two more then I get a guaranteed character I might get a character before that if I'm lucky but if I don't get a character within those 10 summons, I get a guaranteed one at that 10th summon. And rank S character, for example, right here, if I do 14 more summons, I'm guaranteed to get a rank S one, unless I get one before that. So the pity system at least does kind of help a bit. Although there's an issue with that, um, Global nerf their pity system. I, I don't actually know the specifics because I'm not too into this game. I'm kind of going into this as an outsider, trying to explain it to other outsiders. They nerfed it from the other versions of this game. I think it's in Taiwan and China that this game is in, and it just got ported to global like last month. It's actually, I think it's just a month ago today because I just got my 30 day login. Um, let me actually put on like a gameplay thing so you have something in the background. You can actually see what the game is like. Uh, oh, and I'm out of stamina. That's another one of the issues I want to talk about. So this game, it's very, there's always something to do. There's a lot of stuff that you could actually do. There's a lot of opportunities to play it. But one of the big issues, you don't really have enough stamina to play it. Um, Legends. Let's take Legends, for example. Legends has a very good stamina system. And, okay, I'm probably going to lose this. I'm going to put this on in the background just so you know. I'm going to be playing it auto, and you'll see what the game actually plays like. So, Legends has a very good stamina system. One of my favorites out of, with all the problems I have with that game, that, it has a really good stamina system. You, you'll never run out of stamina. You could always get more if you need. There's skip tickets, blah, blah, blah. This game has rush tickets, which is kind of the same thing. Or no, it's drones that they have, whatever. Same, same type of deal. And 
there are opportunities to get stamina, like your friends can gift you stamina every day, you get stuff in your dorm, which is one of the features in this game, and it like replenishes every 24 hours or so. They give out free stamina a bunch of times, but even with that, it's not really enough to do the stuff that you want to do. And you're always going to feel like you're missing out on, like even your daily missions, you don't have enough stamina to fully do every daily mission. Um, as in, you get like 20 attempts to do some of the daily stuff. You don't have enough stamina to do that. You physically cannot do that in a day unless you spend in-game currency to get more stamina. Uh, it's kind of an issue right now, and they did try and alleviate it by giving out more free stamina, but there's, it still just isn't that good right now. So if you do want to play it, it, it kind of like discourages you from playing it, which kind of stinks because this game is fun. The gameplay, I'll say one thing. Gameplay is very good. I actually have a lot of fun with this. It's a lot less stale than something like Dokkan or Legends. As much as I do enjoy those games, this game is a lot more, um, I don't know, dynamic, I guess is a better word, because it's, you can see it's like an arena fighter. Um, I have it playing on auto right now. I'm not actually playing it. This is just so I could focus more on what I'm trying to say. And this is one of the modes that they have. You just do a, um, it's called a mock contest, and you just work up harder stages, and it, it, this is all free. This doesn't require stamina, because this is the only stage I could play right now, because every other thing requires stamina, and I don't have any. Um, but yeah, that's one of the big issues with the game right now is stamina, so hopefully they do fix that. Another one. Besides all the stuff I mentioned with the shards, the nonsense that I have so far, there's also the fact that they nerfed a character. Besides nerfing the pity system, which... I think in the other versions, it's supposed to be like every 70 summons you get something, you get a free card. I'll have to check on that. But I know they nerfed that, and one of the recent cards they released... Oh, I'm actually going to win this stage. I thought I was going to lose it. So let me actually play this. So it, this is it, the gameplay's fun, and I'll show you what I mean with the, the nerf with um, Endeavor, which is what I was about to talk about. Um, one thing I will say, though, is the rewards are pretty... You, it, it makes it worthwhile to play every stage. Let's say that. It's not like amazing rewards, but... Mock Contest, for example, gives you shards for some of your rewards. It gives you a bunch of um, in-game currency. Not the premium currency. It gives you, like, I'll show you. Yeah, this currency right here, which I have more than enough of. That's kind of like, um, that's basically the Zenny of this game. That's the best comparison. So let's go over here to Endeavor. Endeavor is one of the newest characters that launched in the game. And, I mean, if you know My Hero Academia, you know who this guy is. He's one of the most important characters in the show, and he's one of the strongest heroes too actually he's considered the strongest right now too even though that might not be true but whatever i'm not getting into power scaling you you know what i mean and he was um when he launched on the other versions of the game from what i've heard i don't have him i've never played him and i don't really know how he functions but from what i've heard he was a pretty like serviceable character but they nerfed him in this version for no particular reason besides having the nerf with the pity system they nerfed First of all, his, his character, when you play as him, he hurts himself because, I mean, that's kind of how Endeavor works. So whenever you're fighting as him, you lose HP. And they dropped a um, card for him because every character has, like, their own cards. And there's, like, a whole system where you can equip them. Uh, I guess the best comparison is equipment and legends. Um, but, yeah, a lot of characters have their own individual special cards. Besides the other ones that you can get, there's some um, that are tailored for the character. And... There was, um, they changed it since then, but they announced that it would have healing in the card. It didn't actually, which it was supposed to because in the other version it did. And without the healing, you can't really play as him that well. So not only is he nerfed with, like, damage, he's nerfed in healing, and he, he'll end up probably losing all his health if you're playing too long as him. And you're not, like, overpowering the enemy. So you might actually end up killing yourself before you kill the enemy, which kind of stinks. So you can see why a lot of people have a problem with that. There was just a random nerf. They're trying to cover it up. No one really knows what's going on. And it's just a whole mess right now. And they're just trying to ignore it, sweep it under the rug. And that's beyond... That's just um, disregarding all the other issues, too, that I mentioned. The stamina system, the way the shards work. The game's not too generous with the shards. Like, if you want to level up... She's my highest level character right now. Urok is my highest level character. She's SS. And even then, she's not that great in the harder content. And I have, the rest of my cards are S. I have two A's, but the rest are S. And even, like, the strongest ones, Deku and Momo, those are my other strongest. They don't, like, do much. No matter how much I buff them, just at S, they're not doing too much. And it, it's like, I mean, I guess the best comparison is, so the highest rank they have is the SSS+, Plus, which is, um, let's go over here. You need so many shards to get that. And it's not even generous. Like, this... It took me, I only got her to SS like a few days ago, 
like um like probably two days before recording this and i've been playing since the game came out and i've been getting shards and i even did as I, I hate to admit it i spent some money on the game and when you spend the money on the game they have a system that gives you free shards sometimes so i got some for her and i did the daily missions and everything and it took me a month to get her first of all to get her and then to get her to ss and even then i can't even do some of the harder events let's go over here um not that i can even play because i don't have any stamina right now if we go over here look at this uh battle power requirement i could play it without it it would be tough but i could and look she's the only character that is like even close to matching that battle power and even then she's like 2000 below it and the other two are like just abysmal compared to it even though they're my they're my other two strongest characters so the whole game's kind of a mess right now it's not really generous it's um they're kind of greedy they nerf stuff for no reason there's no stamina and it like discourages you from playing the game and it's just like the gameplay is really the only saving grace right now and i do have fun playing as the different characters they're pretty fun to play as the gameplay itself's good etc etc it's just I, I don't even know it, it's just a weird state right now and i don't even know how it is on the other version let's do baka i like baka let's deploy him yes yeah, so you, you can run around and play as any of these this is like there's like an overworld that you can run through do missions but besides that i think i covered pretty much everything i, I want to cover and it, it's just in a weird state right now i want this game to succeed i want it to be better but at the rate it's going they're kind of just ruining it for no reason so i hope it does get better and it, unless you're a big fan of my hero you're probably not going to like this game because not only are there all the issues, but you won't know the characters. And if you're a fan of my hero, you might get some enjoyment out of it and you can at least get in. And in case they do improve the game, you'll get in early. But again, there's there's no guarantee that they're going to improve it. It might stay shit. It might stay poopy for good. But who knows? Hopefully it stops being dog water, dog ass, poop, shit, fart, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say, really. It's fun, though. I play it daily. And it, it, I just, I don't know. I look past the issues. The issues aren't that glaring, but it's like, I want to play more of this game, but I can't because I don't have strong enough characters and I don't have enough stamina. It, it like discourages you. I don't get it, but hopefully they improve it. Maybe they won't, maybe they will, but it seems like they're kind of trying to cover up everything now because they're just ignoring everyone on social media. And it was players that had to point out the fact that they nerfed stuff. They haven't said anything about it. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. Um, let me know below if you want to see videos on this game i don't know if anyone's even interested in it but if you want to let me know let me know if you're even going to get it for yourself or if you think it's like too far gone to be good but yeah that's basically all i wanted to say so hopefully you enjoyed this video and next i'm going to be i'm not going to be making too many more videos of this unless people want me to but yeah that's basically all i wanted to say so hopefully that informed you with whatever you needed to know and that's really it goodbye and i'll see you on whatever video is next